Good morning, everyone. It is good to be here for devotion. Um, if you saw when we launched Digital Church last week, there will be three times of devotion every week. On Monday, you can look for a pre-recorded devotion that will both be on our Facebook page and sent out. And on Wednesdays, you can uh, tune in on Zoom for a conversation with Pastor Jason at 8 p.m. And on Friday mornings at 8 a.m., you can tune in to uh, spend some time in devotion with me. These times of devotion, especially these live devotion times, will be a great opportunity because we'll all be able to see each other and we'll be able to participate in that faith five that we do with our children in Sunday school already. And so those five, as a reminder, is sharing, reading, talking, praying, and blessing. And so being able to do this on Zoom with all of our faces showing will allow us to really try to stay connected and to share what we're going through at this time, this time of uh, kind of uncertainty and, um, and anxiety for many, as I lifted up in my sermon yesterday. And so for these recorded ones, we will try to maintain a little bit of that uh, Faith 5 format, even though with just one person speaking, that can be a little more difficult. Um, so I'll just go ahead and share that. Um, my thorn has been um, being out of our church building and not being able to, uh, to gather together. And, um, but my rose has been really trying to experience this digital church in its fullness. And so I particularly liked the, the small but mighty group that gathered for Bible study on Saturday at 2 p.m. And so it is wonderful to see how we are able to maintain and continue our, our ministries even during this time that we are distant from one another. Next, this devotion time will always include some sort of scripture. And we'll be following along through this Pandemic Hope devotion series that is a resource that, uh, that Pastor Jason came across. And you can find that entire devotional packet um, on wickerparklutheran.com dot org backslash devotions and so there you can find that booklet you can also find the recorded devotions that will be posted and you'll be able to find that zoom information for you to join those live devotions on wednesday night and friday morning and what's great about those devotions is that they include something for every single day and so perhaps during this time, it can become one of your faith practices to, um, to come together with your family and do that. Each day also has a kind of creative spiritual practice. And so today's spiritual practice it offers is uh, Play-Doh prayers. And so I think that would be a great activity to do with our little ones that are among us. And so I encourage you to check that out. If you don't have Play-Doh around the house, there includes a recipe on how to make it. And so um, I really do encourage you to uh, download that packet and see how you might use that as part of your personal life. Well, got on a little bit of a tangent there. So we'll just step back and we're going to spend some time just reading scripture today. And this is going to come from Psalm 118. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. With the Lord on my side, I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? The Lord is on my side to help me. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations surrounded me in the name of the Lord. I cut them off. They surrounded me, surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They blazed like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed hard so that I was falling. 
but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. I thank you that, I, that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. After reading scripture during these devotion times, we'll enter into a time of discussion where we can respond to things that may have come up for us during the reading. As we look forward to the beginning of Holy Week next week with um, Palm Passion Sunday this Sunday, I couldn't help but think of that when we read that the feastal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. That's how we start our Palm Sunday service. We say, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And even louder again, blessed is the one who came, comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And then one more time, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Because God is coming to us. God is coming to us this day. And so today in this time of trials, in this time of confusion, in this time where fears kind of are running a little rampant, I find comfort in this psalm because it says that God has done marvelous things in our eyes. And I can't deny that. God has done marvelous things in our eyes. And this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us find ways in which we can be glad for the things that happen today. And so I invite you today, as you go about your day, to take note of those things that are going well, those things that you are thankful for. Because as it says in verse 28, you are my God and I will give thanks to you. You are my God and I will extol you. How might you give thanks to God today, even in this time? After talking about the scripture, we'll enter into a time of prayer. And what will be beautiful during these live devotions is having a chance to uh, pray with and for one another in those roses and thorns that they shared earlier. And as for today, I pray for each and every one of you. So let us pray. Good and gracious God, thank you for the gift of today. Thank you for the sunlight outside of my window. Thank you for the gift of still being able to come together in community, even when we are in this time of separation where we cannot see each other face to face. Thank you for um, sending people into my life that show your love and care. 
thank you for all those uh, hard at work today, whether in their homes. I especially pray and thank and give you thanks today for medical professionals as they are on the front lines in, um, in battling COVID-19. I pray that you be with them and support them this day and always. And oh God, I keep each and every one of um, the members of Wicker Park Lutheran in my prayers today. God, you know what they need. Assure them of your presence. Grant them comfort and give them your strength so that they can continue through these days. May they know that they are beloved. May they know that they are still part of the community even when we cannot gather. God, there are so many other prayers that are on our hearts that you already know. We lift them all up to you in the name of your loving son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now may you go out into your day um, to do whatever it is that you need to do today. I ask that you spend some time to care for yourself and that you give yourself grace and flexibility in this time. And I pray that you know that you are known and loved by God. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Until next time, we'll see you soon.